2014 SEC Paper 2, Question 3, Part A. So you're given two, you're given a diagram and there's two different games of chance um, to be played at a charity fundraiser. And the first part A of the question says that John played game A four times and tells us that he won a total of eight euros. In how many different ways could this have been done? So these are all um, the different combinations. So you could get a five and a three. Five euros and a three euros that give you eight euros and then win nothing on the other two games. And they're all the combinations when written out and there's a total of 12 combinations. And that's part A. Part B, to spin either arrow once, the player pays three euros. Which game of chance would you expect to be more successful in raising funds for the charity? Give a reason for your answer. Okay, so the player pays three euros to play the game. So you have game A and you have game B. So game A, you can get not euros and five euros and not euros and three euros and six euros and divide that by uh, the number of segments, which is five segments. So you get a total of 14 divided by five. So you can win an average of two euros and 80 cent. So if you pay three euros to play the game, take away the 280 uh, that uh, you win. So the charity would make an average 20 cent from game A. From game B then, it's not plus three, plus one, plus four, plus two, plus five, divided by six, which is 15, divided by six, which is two euros and 50 cent. So three euros to play the game minus two euros and 50 cent. So the charity would make on average 50 cent. So game B would make more money for the charity. Okay, part C of the question. Mary plays game B six times. Find the probability that the arrow stops in the four euro sector exactly twice. So this is a Bernoulli trial. So the success is stopping in the four euro sector. And by looking at the diagram of the of game B, four euros occurs once and there's a total of six segments. So it's one sixth is the probability um, of the success of it stopping um, in the four euro uh, segment. The failure is it not stopping in the four euros, which is five sixths. So Bernoulli trial, n choose r by p to the power of r by q to the power of n minus r. So p is your success and q is the failure. So we have, we're told that she plays the game six times and find the probability the r arrow stops in the four euro sector exactly twice. So we want two successes. So it's six choose two by a success is one sixth to the power of two, by a failure is five sixths to the power of six minus two. So that's six choose two by one sixth to the power of two, by five sixths to the power of four, which gives us a total of not point two zero zero nine three eight and to we'll say four place the decimal two zero zero nine so point two zero zero nine is the probability of it stopping in the four euro sector exactly twice <laughs>